Hey, what's up coders? Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'll show you how to use scale transition and rotation transition in your Flutter application. And uh, this is basically a continuation of the animation series. Um, uh, if you haven't watched that video, please do watch it. I'll leave the link in the description below. It's very important because I explained a lot of concept and I would be using them here. So it is better to watch the video first and then come back to this. And here I have a very simple um, demo page where uh, I've been thinking of doing this kind of an UI for a very long time where it's got this kind of a radial menu and uh, something to do with the playing music, the audio player. So I found this to be a better uh, use case. So it's, it's a simple artist playlist and you can see that I have two kinds of transition happening here uh, where you can see that the artist face seems to be scaling and the tracks seems to be rotating. So there are two kind of transition happening. So I'll, in this video, I'm going to show you how to do this, but definitely I would like to expand this uh, particular series by adding tracks to it so that when I click on these individual track, I want the audio to play. So definitely I would be doing that, uh, but not in this series, but it would be a continuation video series. So, so today we're going to see how to achieve this transition. And in my later videos, we'll see how to add tracks and audio player into this. So let's get started. Um, all right, uh, to start up with, first we'll start adding all the animation components like the controller, the animation, and um, whether it's gonna be the repeat or forward. And then we will add the uh, uh, these controllers into your UI. So that's how you connect your animation and your UI so that you could get this effect. So to start up with, I'm using a ticker provider state mix and I'm extending it with this one because in, if you had seen my previous video, you will understand that if it's a single one, then we use a single ticker provider state mixing. So since we are using two controllers so that I have one controller for this particular artist face scale and another rotation, I want a different controller. I'm using two controllers here. So the first one is my animation component. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say animation and I'm going to say double and I'm going to give animation one. That's enough. And uh, I'm going to go with my animation controller. And as I mentioned, I'm going to use two controllers. So I'm going to say controller. So I'm going to define my two controllers as controller one and controller two. There you go, controller. Okay, I need to give controller two. Okay, so we have defined the animation and the animation controller. Now in the init state, we are going to define the duration, the tween value, and whether it's going to be repeat or forward, those components. So let's start with init state. Let's see. Yeah, there you go. So there is my init state. And... Um, Inside my init state, I'm going to start with the controller one and I'm going to say animation control. And I'm going to give a resync this because it's already picking it up from the ticker. So I've already done that. So the duration. So the duration, I'm going to give it a uh, 2200. So this is all purely um, uh, values depending on my use case. So you can definitely change this uh, depending on what your use case is. So this is my first one and this is my first controller. Then moving on to the second controller, um, I'm gonna give a same, I'm gonna use the same one. The only difference is I'm gonna give a slight in the duration value so just to give that uh, a different controller for my scale or for my rotation I don't want to use the same one 
then next moving on to my animation one so what does my animation one contains it's nothing but it's a new tween with a begin and end value which is 0.5 and my end is 0.1 and I'm gonna say it has to animate okay it has to animate okay it is okay it has to animate uh, using a curved animation so I'm gonna say curved animation okay and inside my curved animation I'm gonna say that the parent of this has to be the controller 2 that's because I want this particular uh, for whichever component I'm assigning this animation it has to go according to the controller 2 okay this so that it rotate or it scales or rotates with this duration so I'm going to say curved animation the parent has to be controller 2 and the curve there is another factor called curve this defines what kind of animation you want on this so if you see there are a lot of animations um, uh, curves attached to it so I'm going to show you the one that I'm going to use there is ease in out ease in then bounce there are so many curves available but I'm going to use just this one for the demo purpose okay so animation next what we have to do is now you've created it but you haven't started it right so for that you say controller one and two. how do you want your controller one my controller one I want it in the repeat mode in forward mode so when I come to the UI part you will get to know the difference has to how, uh, how 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 different is it when you use a repeat forward or reverse yeah so for this I'm just going to use forward now so we have created all these components now we are just going to use these animation one or controller in my UI components so let me get grab the UI components and I'll show you where to add these components. That's the important factor to make your um, widgets animate. Okay, so here I have a very simple uh, barebone flutter template where it has an app bar. And if you look at the container, I have used another widget which is get content and this one. So first thing, um, there are a lot of things. There is a background image so now first I'm giving the opacity value for the background now how I'm doing is that it's a simple image asset inside an opacity contain uh, widget now the opacity value I'm not giving a fixed value I'm saying let it use with the animation one now what is animation one is it has to animate between 0.5 and 1 with a curved animation which is ease and out with this controller which is controller 2 for the duration of 2000 milliseconds so it's gonna pick this value but remember that my controller 2 is just the forward it's not repeating so when I do this I get this blurry effect now if you see I'm gonna add the scale transition with the repeat mode so that it scales in and out when you transit I'm gonna show you how to do that so if you scroll down I have this radial play menu that's the next container after my uh, main background image so this is nothing but a simple position widget and um, and a container with a box shape and there is an image inside it which is being picked up from the asset folder now if you look at this there is this position there's this container now my I'm gonna add this scale transition so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say child my scale transition so I'm gonna apply a scale transition on this container and for a scale transition there is a factor called scale now what it is gonna scale is it's gonna scale from with my controller one values so if you see my controller one 
in a moment i'll show you what is that controller one all about and here let me close this okay so what i'm doing here is i'm i need to animate this particular container with a scale with a type of scale transition with a controller one value so what's controller one it is a repeat so it's gonna repeat it's nothing but a, for a particular duration it's gonna repeat and animate that's it so this is the part of controller one it's a very simple i've not given any beginning or end values and nothing as such it's just a repeat transition repeat mode but with a scale transition so when you build this you would see the effect of the um, artist face picking up the scale transition so there you go the application has built successfully and if you see that the artist face seems to be scaling and it is repeating because we have given the scale factor with controller one which is of repeat mode so this is how you use scale transition now moving on to the other part which are the tracks which kept with the rotation transition the ui is added it's simple position widgets with different top and left values the place where i've added is at this point which is the uh this container where uh, you could see the track so what i've done is i've just used my container because i didn't want it to repeat the code again and again so i've just added the icon value and the track name and i've said that my icon that is this child container it gets into this rotating rotation transition and the factor for a rotation transition is turns and you use controller one so if i use controller two it will just be a forward since i want it to repeat i'm using a controller two and similarly also make sure that you use the dispose method to dispose both your controllers so that's very important so i'm gonna build this application and show you how this looks and i'm also gonna show you another small demo of the rotation transition well uh, there you go it has built successfully and i think i've clicked on the hot restart again so it's building up so you could see how it's been it's giving that scale transition and then it's rotating so so this is how you implement uh, or basically use your transitions in on your widgets there's another example which i want to show you how very uh, it's a very simple icon and how you could use very efficiently a rotation transition on it so let me quickly grab the code for the other one and i'll show you how to do that so well this is my another small demo regarding the rotation transition because i thought it's always easy to start up with a simple one to understand what this rotation transition is all about so all i did was i had two controllers here with two different durations if you see here one is 2200 and another is 2000 and i gave both the controllers a repeat mode that's it and here i have two position widgets that's it so two position widget and i've enclosed those icons inside the rotation transition and i've given one with controller one another one with a controller two just to give that slight difference in the rotation so that it looks like it's locking in and rotating so this is how you could use a simple rotation and also possible you could give one with the forward motion one with the reverse motion or you could instead of having a normal setting button in your app you could actually use this and when user clicks on this it opens another setting window with all your edit profile or all kinds of setting features in it so this is how you could simply use the transition in any of the widgets just by using controllers and it really works very nice so in today's video uh, we have seen how to use rotation transition and uh, scale transition and i've also shown you a video uh, uh, i mean um, uh, app demo page where you could use it but definitely this is not a end of this particular uh, app page where i'm gonna improve a little more on it by adding a few more playlist icons uh, and also add tracks to it so it will be definitely a video on it and i will be doing it um, and yeah that's it for this video hope you like it if you do like please give it a like and uh, subscribe and if you find this informative please do
share it. Thank you.